organizing slides. MS PowerPoint 2007 is an easy to use and efficient presentation software and lets you make audio visual presentations. Each page of the presentation is called a slide. Let us learn how to organize the slides in MS PowerPoint 2007. The arrangement of various objects on a slide is called slide layout. To make your presentation, you have to select a slide layout. MS PowerPoint includes built-in slide layouts. You can also modify these layouts according to your need. Slide layouts contain placeholders for all of the content that appears on a slide. Placeholders are the containers in layouts that hold such content as text, tables, charts, smart art graphics, movies, sounds, pictures and clip art. So, when you want to add any content to a slide, you simply have to click on the placeholder. Layout option is available in Slides group on the Home tab. Nine different slide layouts are available on MS PowerPoint. To change the slide layout, go to the Home ribbon. Click the Layout button. The list of slide layouts include Title slide. It is used at the start of your presentation. Normally, this layout contains title and subtitle of the presentation. Title and Content It is the default slide layout and the one that is most commonly used. Section Header It is used to separate different sections of the same presentation. To Content This slide layout is used if you wish to write something on one side and show a photo or video alongside in the same slide. Comparison It is similar to the two content slide layout, but this slide type also includes a heading text. Title only This slide layout is used if you want to place only a title on the page. Blank a blank slide layout is often used for a picture or other graphic object. Content with caption. Content will be placed on the right side of the slide. The left side allows for a title and text to describe the object. Picture with caption. The upper part of the slide is used to place a picture. Under the slide you can add a title and descriptive text. Editing text object. Each content on the slide like text, photo, graph, chart etc. is called an object. Most objects on your PowerPoint slide are text object. This means that they let you type text in your slide such as table, word art, charts, text box and smart art. These text objects can be easily added and edited in your presentation. Inserting a chart In the content placeholder, you will see a chart icon. Clicking on the chart icon opens the Insert Chart dialog box. When you choose the type of chart, an Excel window with a sample table opens. The corresponding chart is also inserted on the slide. You can modify the table according to your data and then close the Excel worksheet. Whenever you wish to modify the data, right-click on the chart and choose Edit Data option from the menu. The worksheet containing data table will open. Inserting a table Clicking on the table icon from the content placeholder opens the Insert Table dialog box. Insert the number of rows and columns you want in your table 
and click OK to insert the table in your slides. Inserting Smart Art Smart Art is a way to improve the presentation of your information. You can create list, process, cycle, hierarchy, relationship, matrix and pyramid diagram using MS PowerPoint Smart Art. Smart Art can be added in the present slide by clicking on the Smart Art icon in the placeholder. Inserting Word Art To insert Word Art in your slide, go to the Insert tab. Click on Word Art option in the text group. Word Art menu will appear. Select any Word Art style from drop down menu. A box will appear with your text here. Click inside this box and type your text. Deleting text objects. You can delete any text object from your presentation. Let us take the example of a word art. Follow these steps. Select the word art border you want to delete. Press delete key on your keyboard. Word art will disappear from the slide. If you want to delete multiple word art at the same time, hold down the control key and click each word art you want to delete. Then press delete key on your keyboard. Similarly, you can delete any object from your slide. Moving and copying text objects. You can move and copy any text object from one slide in your presentation to another by using cut, copy and paste commands. Let us take the example of a word art. To move the word art, follow these simple steps. Select the word art you want to move. Right click on the mouse button and select the cut option from the menu. Choose a slide in which you want to paste your word art. Right click on the mouse button and select the Paste option from the menu. In this case, your word art goes from one slide to the other. If you want to keep the original and make a copy on another slide, then follow these steps. Select the word art you want to copy. Right-click on the mouse button and select the Copy option from the menu. Choose a slide in which you want to copy your word art. Right click on the mouse button and select the paste option from the menu. Similarly, you can move and copy any object to your slide. Text box is a container for text. You can easily add text by typing on any slide. Suppose you are using a blank slide or if you want to add text on a picture, you can use text box. You can also add, copy or delete text boxes in MS PowerPoint. Follow the given steps to add text box. Click on text box option in the text group on the insert tab. Click and drag the left mouse button to draw the text box. Release the mouse button when drawing is completed. Click inside the text box and start typing. Formatting a text box There are many styles and options available for changing the look of your text box. To format a text box, follow these steps. Select your text box and click on Format tab. You will see many formatting tools on the ribbon. You can select any shape style and shape fill color to your text box. Deleting a text box. To delete a text box, click on the border of the box. Once the border is selected, press the delete key on the keyboard. Once you have added the content to your slides, and look at the entire presentation, you might want to make some changes. If you want to move some slides around, 
delete some slides or copy them, then you can do all that within the slide tab. You can rearrange the order of the slides by simply dragging them to the desired place. Rearranging in Outline View The slides or outline pane is normally placed on the left side of the interface in MS PowerPoint 2010. The pane contains two tabs, the Slides tab and the Outlines tab. The Slides tab of the pane allows the user to move slides easily from one position to the other. Outline tab displays the title and text content of the slides. Each title appears on the left side of the pane that contains the Outline tab along with the slide icon and slide number. The main text is indented under the slide title. Follow the given steps to change the order of slides in Outline View. Click Normal in the Presentation Views group on the View tab. In the pane that contains the Outline and Slides tabs, click the Outline tab. Move the mouse pointer on Slide icon. Mouse pointer will change into cross pointer. Click the icon of the slide that you want to move and drag the mouse button. You will see that a horizontal line appears at the bottom of the slide. Release the mouse button where you want to place your slide. Slide will appear in new location. Rearrangement in Slide Sorter View Slide Sorter view is used to view and sort the presentation. This view enables you to rearrange, add or delete slides in your presentation. To switch Slide Sorter view for your presentation, click on the Slide Sorter view in the Presentation Views group on the View tab. Slide Sorter view displays all the slides in your presentation in horizontally sequenced thumbnails. Follow the given steps to change the order of slides in Slide Sorter View. Move the mouse pointer on Slide Thumbnail. Click on the slide that you want to move and drag the mouse button. You will see that a vertical line appears on the right hand side of the slide. Release the mouse button where you want to place your slide. Slide will appear in new location. Inserting clip art. Clip art is a collection of pictures or images that can be imported into a presentation. Clip art is typically organized into categories such as people, animals, objects, nature, etc. So you don't have to browse through thousands of pictures to find the correct one. Follow these steps to insert a clip art. Click on Clip Art option in the Images group on the Insert tab. Clip Art task pane will appear on the right side of the window. Enter keywords in the search field that are related to the image you want to insert and click on Go button. Click on Clip Art image to insert it or click the drop down arrow next to the Clip Art image and select Insert from the menu options. The selected clip art will appear in the slide. Inserting Shapes You can add shapes such as boxes, circles and arrows to your presentation or document. To insert a shape, follow the given steps. Click on the Shapes option in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab. Select the shape you want to insert. Move your cursor towards the slide. The cursor will convert into cross pointer. Click and hold down the mouse button and drag the cursor until the shape is the desired size. Release the mouse button to insert the shape. You can also change the style and color of your shape. 
follow these steps. Select the shape. On doing so, the Format tab will appear. Select the Format tab. Click on the drop-down arrow in the Shape Styles group to display more style options. Move your cursor over a style to see a live preview of the style on the shape. Click a style to select any style from the menu. You can resize and rotate a picture, shape, text and any object. To resize a picture, follow the given steps. Select a picture which you want to resize. Click on one of the corner handles. The cursor will turn into a cross. Click and drag the left mouse button and drag the handle until the image is the desired size. Now, to rotate a picture, follow these steps. Select a picture or any object you want to rotate. Format tab will appear on the ribbon. Click the Rotate command in the Arrange group on the Format tab. You can see live preview of rotation options on the slide. Select any rotation option from the menu. If you have inserted a shape in your slide and now want to change its size, follow these steps. Select a shape which you want to resize. Click one of the corner sizing handles. The cursor will turn into a cross. Drag the handle until the shape is the desired size. You can also rotate the shape. Just follow the simple steps. Select a shape or any object you want to rotate. Format tab will appear on the ribbon. Click the Rotate command in the Arrange group on the Format tab. You can see live preview of rotation options on the slide. Select any rotation option from the menu. Following the same steps, you can resize and rotate any object on your slide. After inserting a shape into your presentation, you can make it look deeper and more impressive by using shadow effects. Shadow effects are used to enhance the look of your shape. You can add shadow effects to images, shapes and other objects in MS PowerPoint 2010. Follow the steps to apply shadow effects to shapes. Select the shape on which you want to apply the effect. In Format tab, click Shape Effects in the Shape Styles group. Shape Effects drop-down menu will appear. Select Shadow option. This opens the Shadow sub-menu that provides the following options. No Shadow, Outer Shadow, Inner Shadow, Perspective. Choose the one that you prefer and the effect will be applied to the shape.